We are so excited to have you here today, Alyssa. May I ask you to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Alyssa Gibbs. I'm the director of social media for Pluto TV, um, which is the leading free streaming television service. It's got thousands of movies and shows, and it's available to download on any of your favorite devices. So um, I'm super excited to be here to talk about the TikTok brand admission. Thank you, Alyssa, for that intro. I am the global product marketing lead for Brand Admission and Branded Effect. And we're also joined by Jasmine from our Creative Labs team, who also worked on the campaign as well. I'd love to first start out with a quick overview of what Brand Admission with Branded Effect is for anyone who doesn't know. So Brand Admission is our creative collaboration tool at scale. Brands are given the opportunity to tap into our creator community to crowdsource diverse content. So they put out their brief or mission, if you will. Those creators then develop their content against that brief and they have the opportunity to tap into their favorites after testing them on our platform and turn them into ads and branded effect. This really serves as that creative element throughout the mission or throughout the ads, really allowing that consistency for the brands and for creators throughout the entire campaign. So Pluto TV chose TikTok as the platform to promote its popcorn summer movies. Let's take a look at the results of the campaign. So what Pluto TV decided to do for our brand admission with Branded Effect revolved around one of our tentpole campaigns, like you said, popcorn summer movies. And that campaign really focused in on all of the major titles that we have available on Pluto TV throughout the summer months. Um, and so with that, we ended up developing an effect called the Pluto TV's casting call, um, which is sort of a quiz format that users would answer by tilting their heads left or right to make a decision. They were given a series of iconic movie scenarios um, and had to make a choice for each. So for instance, your cruise ship is sinking, do you A, share your flotation device, or B, let your new BF drown? Um, you could probably guess what movie that is. And depending on their answers to these different iconic scenarios, they would then be cast as either the hero, the villain, the love interest, or um, the best friend in a uh, different genre of movie, right? So then at the end, they would be transformed into a movie poster, and there were four different um, movie posters for those specific genres. So in the end, your results would be something like, you've been cast as the hero in an action movie or, or the love interest in a rom-com. The major headline for us at the end of this brand admission was that in all of 2022, last year, we hired a total of 51 creators. And in just six days of the brand admission, we saw 500 creator videos rolling in touting Pluto TV. Wow. Yeah, so it was pretty incredible. Um, with that, we saw a 10.2% engagement rate, a 10.3% lift in ad recall and almost 60 million video views. We were so excited about the results uh, that we're actually doing another brand admission that starts today. So go check it out. Wow, that is very impressive. Thank you so much for sharing those results with us. Can you and Jasmine now walk us through how you brought this branded effect to life as a part of this brand admission BE campaign? Absolutely, so TikTok was amazing. This team is incredible to work with through the entire production process. Um, from day one, they helped us brainstorm what the overall concept was gonna be, and then helped us refine the concept all the way until launch day. Um, and as you can imagine, there were many iterations of the effect, um, but we were lucky enough to work with This Is Tommy, who is a agency and a TikTok partner who are really experts in building these effects. So my role as a Creative Lab member is to partner with people like Alyssa and Pluto and come up with creative ideas that are going to resonate with the platform, but also deliver on our KPIs that we have with our partners. So we ideated a bunch and we used some of our best practices like personality quizzes, gamified effects, and combined three ideas that we all really loved to create one super idea that would get the results that we wanted. That's great. Anything that you like specifically? Working with TikTok, Tommy, they were amazing. And um, Tommy was super nimble and flexible and gracious in the many iterations that we went through of the effect. Um, they were able to whip up just about anything that we requested super quickly. Um, and were really helpful and dedicated to making this something that was gonna be really special and shareable. On the TikTok end, um, what I loved was when we saw the creator videos rolling in, um, you were able to see which videos were the top performers. So it wasn't just all about followers, it really gave a chance to all creators to make something worthwhile and you can see what was kind of taking off organically. 
Um, and from there, that really helped us in the decision-making process. So let's dive into the idea for this project. How did that concept come about? When coming up with the effect, um, I ran into the hurdle that I think most brands face with these types of buys, which I think you touched on earlier, of making it brand forward, hitting all your KPIs, making sure the logos are in the right place and all that, um, while simultaneously making it very audience forward. So mm -hmm. I kept asking myself over and over again, would I use this effect? Would I actually take a video and post it and yeah. for all my friends to see? Um, so I think that's that was super important. Um, and one of the ideas that, that uh, Creative Labs brought to us was the BuzzFeed style quiz, um, which my friends and I could never resist, you know, <laughs> find out what kind of bread you are or something. <laughs> um, and you wanted everybody to know like, oh my gosh, I'm the multigrain or I'm the white bread or the whatever it is. Um, so we wanted, we wanted that to be part of it and then also have a really fun payoff at the end. So um, that's where the movie poster portion of it came in. Um, we thought if we, you saw your friend as the hero in an action movie on the poster, that hopefully you would want to see what you would look like as the uh, villain of a horror movie on a poster, right? Yeah. What Alyssa is talking about here is really at the heart of all of our creative ideation, which is creating something that our community is going to want to use and to post and most importantly, make their own, which fuels our content creation cycle on TikTok, one of our superpowers here. Um, we also had a unique task with this campaign, which was uh, not mentioning film titles themselves. This was more of a genre play. Uh, and with every task, there's a great solution. So the fun thing that we got to do here is play with the things that people love about these movies. So we had those different prompts, the boulder running down, the yacht sinking, whatever it might be, get people really engaged with that. And then I think the greatest part of this is then letting people be transformed in the end into the poster. So now people can use it multiple times, change their scenarios, see what they would do differently. And they have a personal investment in posting it and engaging with the community on the platform. They wanna show people, look, this is what I am. They wanna post their video themselves and they want to engage with other people's content. What do you think of having your branded effects amplified through creator branded content tools like Branded Mission? Yeah, so having the effect uh, makes it so creators and non-creators can create videos um, that have more structure and more of a template to work within, right? So having an open-ended prompt always invites who knows what. So uh, it can be risky from both a brand perspective and a legal perspective. Um, particularly when it goes out to such a wide array of creators uh, on a platform without a pre-selected process. Uh, the effect definitely lets you get your point across um, while having a little bit more control using a pre-produced creative. So the beauty of the brand admission is that it casts a wide but also very focused net so that interested creators are given the opportunity to participate. Um, you are both discovering and creating brand advocates who have a vested interest in creating a quality piece of content for your brand. Yeah. Um, and even for the creators not selected, this is a bonus, uh, their video still goes public. So on top of the paid efforts, you're still getting that organic reach. And uh, one of the videos, uh, we didn't select it, but it still reached 10 million people um, just completely organically. Wow, that is amazing. Do you have any tips for brands who may be interested in using branded effects for their own campaigns? Yeah, I think just kind of uh, repeating what I said earlier about keeping the audience at the forefront of your mind. Again, I live and breathe marketing Pluto TV, so um, it's easy to get lost in the logos, the taglines of it all. Um, but at the end of the day, the effect is really there to entertain your audience. So you wanna make something that the audience cannot resist but sharing with their friends, but trying out. So I think that's, that's probably the biggest thing to keep in mind. And Jasmine, we have a lot of creators who are watching this session today. Do you have any tips for any of these creators who are you know, developing effects for brands and what are the best ways that they can get discovered by brands today? Well, first of all, I want to say that I'm also always learning from the incredible talented effects creators that we have. They're making some of the best content on the platform. Um, but in terms of working with brands, I think my number one tip would be to remember that you're ultimately creating something for the TikTok community. You can make an effect that on paper delivers on all the KPIs, makes the brand super happy, makes your partner super happy, but unless people on the platform want to use it, 
it's not gonna deliver on any of those things. So the easiest way I would say to feel like you are making content that's both going to deliver on your KPIs, but also be in, uh, embraced by the platform would be to scroll your For You page and use it as your textbook and take note of the things, like Alyssa said, that you want to use, that inspires you. What are your friends posting? What is getting that virality? What is becoming a community moment? And then take learnings from that and see how you can apply it. So something like with this Pluto campaign, we know that people love the personality quizzes. We've seen those head tilt filters so many times. They're kind of bread and butter on the platform at yeah. this point. Uh, the movie posters was a nice additional ad that could spark even more um, creation on the platform. So I would say working like that would be a great way for effects creators to work with brands. Wow, very helpful tips. And thank you both for joining us. And Alyssa, I'm looking forward to working with you on your next campaign. Us too, super excited. And thank you all for joining us. See you next time.